Hello everyone, I'm Diver Steva and thank you for joining me today to learn how to do this Easter Bunny Pop Art Nail Design. To start, I'm going to do a base coat to protect my nail and allow the polish to go in smoothly and this will also help it last a little bit longer over time. Next, I'm using a slightly sheer ivory polish to make my nails appear to be one color. After applying that to all my nails, I'm going to give that a second to dry. Now I'm adding one more coat so you can't see the white of my nail, which will give the bright colors an opaque look. After giving that a few minutes to dry, I will be using these cute little polishes that are in the shades of Yay, Cool, Sweet, and Yum. Now I'm going to apply about three coats to each nail because the polish is very thin. I went ahead and did all four nails, excluding my thumb. I painted it so no light colors are next to each other to really make the colors pop. Using a thin elongated striper brush in white, I'm going to carefully draw an elongated oval on one side of my index finger. Take your time so the outline appears smooth and then go ahead and fill that in. Now on the other side of your index finger, draw a backward seven so it ends up a bit shorter than the oval. Try to keep the width consistent to the oval so they look like matching ears. Near the cuticle, draw a semicircle slightly overlapping the tips of the ears to give the illusion of the top of a bunny's head. This is how it looks so far. You can see it looks like a bunny trying to peek out and join your Easter hunt. On your ring finger, draw the semicircles next to each other at the tip of the nail. You're going to make two of these. This is a little harder because you really want to make sure they look symmetrical. So go ahead and take your time doing that and then fill both of those in. It may take a couple of tries to really get it perfect. Once you're satisfied, you're going to use a light pink, lightly dab the tip of the brush near the little V where the bunny cheeks separate to make a nose. Now use a black striper brush to draw three whiskers on each side coming from the nose. Then just dab over the nose again with the pink to make it stand out and look a little cleaner. Draw four lines perpendicular to the bunny cheeks with the white striper brush and connect two lines each to look like little rabbit teeth and then fill that in. If you notice your teeth look a little bigger than the cheeks in comparison at this point, that now is the time to add more to the cheeks on the other sides. Focusing on the outer cheeks. Now using the same pink as the nose, carefully draw a line in the bunny ears making sure not to touch any of the edges. Use your black brush to add more dimension to the bunny by adding shadows to the sides of the bunny's nose, teeth, cheeks, and both of the ears. You don't have to completely outline the whole thing. You just want it to give a shadow illusion. This is how it looks so far. I absolutely love the little bunny mouth. It really resembles a cute little rabbit. I'm going to add one more coat of green to my pinky so when I add the nail confetti, it has a wet layer to adhere to. Using a slightly damp brush to pick up the glitter confetti, slightly press each square on your nails, starting from the tip and making it more sparse as it goes towards the cuticle. Now on your middle finger, draw a half circle with the white, following the shape of your cuticle, but leaving some of the yellow beneath. Draw little ovals over the white basket by dabbing bright colors in one spot to make an egg and then slightly overlap the eggs each time. You wanna make sure the colors are very strong here, so you may have to go over it a few times and just take your time and make sure you let it dry in between each dot. Use your white brush to draw a line over the tips of the eggs once you are satisfied with the opaqueness of your eggs. When you use the white brush to do this part, it will give the appearance of the egg sitting in the basket and then go ahead and add a handle and make sure it stands out by going over it twice. 
make sure it's really precise and clean. And then with your black brush, once again, add dimension by shadowing behind the eggs and on the sides of the basket by following the curves of the basket and the eggs. I left my thumb with the ivory shade and I'm now going to add green by the cuticle to resemble grass in a spring field. Just paint a small rectangle, not more than a third of your nail size. Use a black striper to paint four vertical lines. These are the flower stems and add some leaves by painting little dots on either side of the stems. I will be adding little nail art gems in the shape of flowers to each stem by applying them with my nail brush and using the tip of the handle to secure them onto the nail by just pressing down a little firmly. Finally, I'm going to go over all of my nails with a top coat, which will protect it and give it a smooth finish, as well as hold the flowers onto my thumb a little bit better. After I did this, I went ahead and added some bonus glitter to my flower patch to give it a little extra sparkle. And here are my Easter Bunny Pop Art nails. These are perfect for either Easter Sunday and your cute little Easter dress, or on Easter Monday. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please comment, like, and subscribe. Happy Easter!